Baggett joining us with how more intense storms are leading to more pollution in local waterways. Maddie? Yes, stormwater services say volunteers have helped clean up more than 38 miles of streams and collect more than 21,000 pounds of trash around Mecklenburg County this year. I spoke with them about the local efforts being made to restore our waterways. In recent years, several of our local waterways, like Reedy Creek, have been marked impaired by the state of North Carolina. One of the major threats to water quality is stormwater pollution. Whenever it rains, water flows from higher to lower ground, picking up everything in its path. According to water quality specialist Charnel Currents with Charlotte Mecklenburg Stormwater Services, pollutants left behind by people are ending up in our waterways, which negatively impacts aquatic life. What happens is a lot of uh, sediment and erosion are going to happen during those rainfalls, during those storms, and that sediment can actually smother the habitat for some of the aquatic life that lives in our streams and lakes. Although Charlotte is only slightly above average for precipitation this year, in individual storms are stronger. In the past six months, Charlotte has had eight days where we have received over one inch of rain in a single event. While the short-term effects of stormwater pollution can be seen in the loss of habitat for native plants and animals, Curran says the long-term effects will be felt on a personal level. For humans, it impacts us because our creeks lead to our lakes and we do get some of our drinking water from our lakes. And if it's more difficult to clean to remove some of these things from our waterways, then that could potentially increase the price that people have to pay for drinking water. And also just recreation. People don't want to come out and look at a stream that's ugly, that's filled with dirt and that's filled with trash. Although people are part of the problem, Curran says they are also the solution. She says there are a number of ways our community can get involved in the restoration of Carolina's creeks and streams. We have an Adopt-A-Stream program where people can go out and clean that stream a couple of times a year. Um, we also let people mark storm drains with storm drain markers, and those serve as a warning to people that say, hey, do not pour anything down this storm drain. We hope that people would see that and that they wouldn't illegally dump anything down the storm drain because that leads directly to our creeks. If you would like to get involved with restoration projects like the ones happening at Reedy Creek, we've posted a link on our WSOC TV news app and our website. And ahead tonight on Channel 9, World News looks into the nationwide concerns about the quality of our water. Steve? All right, thanks, Maddie.